Breaker Breaker 1-9, I'm coming at you with a load of data on everybody's favorite cartridge to fawn over or despise as the case may be. Today's test is Magtech 300 Blackout 115 grain OTM. 300 Blackout, aka 300 AAC, aka 300 Whisper, aka 7.62 by 35 millimeter, is kind of like the scrawnier vegan twin to 7.62 by 39. They're both 30 caliber, but 300 blackout tends to produce muzzle velocities at least 200 feet per second slower for the same bullet weight. Don't get me wrong, it still has enough juice to get the job done in most cases. The difference isn't huge, but it also isn't doing any favors for the 300. The loads that work best in 300 tend to make use of the relatively modern bullet designs that are engineered to expand and or fragment. Open tip match bullets can be extremely effective at the circa 3,000 foot per second velocities typical for 223 and 556, but they aren't really designed to expand or fragment. It just so happens that they do so readily and violently at those speeds. In 7.62x39 and 7.62x35, they just aren't moving fast enough to normally achieve this effect. That said, I was once wrong, and it's plausible that it could happen again someday. Maybe, maybe this is that day. In all seriousness, bullets can do surprising things. What do you think? Will we see any fragmentation or expansion from this bullet? Let's get out to the range and fire it from an 8-inch AR-15 into calibrated 10% organic ballistic gelatin. All right guys, no surprises here. That came in, looks like it yawed right about here. And, and it nosedived down through the table. I don't see it, probably, probably hit the dirt around here or so. It's not in this second block. So far as I can tell, it doesn't look like it fragmented or upset in any, any way other than simple yaw. However, I'd like to get a better high speed shot of it. So I'm going to take a few more shots at this gel and I'll just keep shooting it <laughs> until there's not enough left to shoot at. And hopefully we can see something happening on the high speed. But as of right now, yeah, that's, that's fairly mediocre, essentially full metal jacket performance. Okay, big surprise, did the exact same thing. Uh, about four inch, maybe four and a half inch neck this time. Again, it's just not moving fast enough to get any fragmentation. OTMs and boat tail hollow points usually don't fragment much in this caliber, if at all. Uh, the bullet that's capable of fragmentation in 300 AAC is, is a, an exception. The only one I've seen so far is the Remington OTFB with the Barnes bullet. Other than that, 300 AAC just doesn't do that very much. And I know maybe that's not what you're expecting if you're used to seeing the performance from open tip 223, but at 300 blackout velocities, it's just not moving fast enough to tear that bullet apart and it's gonna perform just like a full metal jacket. Is it a Nerf dart? No, of course not. It's still live ammo, still pokes holes in things. Yaw is still a fairly effective wounding mechanism, at least in comparison to a pistol bullet. This would stop a fight a whole lot faster than the very best pistol bullet out there in 9, 40, 45. But as far as 300 AAC goes, nowhere near the top of the list for performance. Okay, so yeah, I am Jack's complete lack of surprise. I hate to say I told you so. Wait, 
No, I don't. I told you so. OTM bullets are often more accurate, but they tend not to be terminal performers. I was unable to recover a bullet, but it's clear from the high speed that no significant disruption occurred in the bullet. It did yaw, producing a respectable temporary stretch cavity, but only after leaving a relatively long neck. Remember, all Spitzer-shaped rifle bullets yaw. Some do it earlier than others, but all yaw. And other factors being equal, yaw produces a far less impressive wound than expansion or fragmentation. It's still a rifle bullet, so it's still digging nastier than any pistol bullet, but it's far from ideal. If this shoots nice groups in your rifle, maybe it's a good choice. It's not the most expensive ammo out there. But if you're looking for an ideal home defense or hunting load, there are just too many other choices that outperform this terminally. My current top recommendations for defense in 300 AAC are 110 grain Barnes Tac TX and Hornady SST in the same weight. If you think I made a mistake or if you have a recommendation for a defensive load that's better, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.